swear that someday I'll tell you without, without lying I was born to quit smoking I was born to quit dying On that day, not doing the heroin Will be easy as pissing On that day, I'll stop talking so much shit about the government Cause urine speaks louder than words On a politician or on a prison warden
shit i feel like shit kind of too um allergies allergies put in my contacts and immediately it was like oh jesus my eyes itch so i look great I look great today um also my back hurts so karina i feel you on that one um and bath bath um uh, bath oh so everybody looking forward to the performative changes in uh, our TOS coming soon? Ah, that just came right out of the fucking tube. Um, now that Twitch is being investigated by the New York AG, um, yeah, it's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. Twitch will, Twitch will crack down on... They're going to ban Honky next, aren't they? Yeah, right? Twitch will crack down on being mean to white guys, and that will solve white nationalism, I'm sure. Mm. Fuck this just hell site. Um, you know, maybe they'll add another deer girl or something. <clears throat> I, I bet if they add another deer girl to their diversity team or some shit like that, that'll, yeah, that'll, that'll, that'll fix the racism. Jesus. <laughs> Realistically, there's nothing they can do. What they should do is just be like, what the fuck do you want us to do? Right? Like, at the end of the day, anybody can spin up an account and stream on our website, and this dude did it. Like, what, fuck, what the fuck do you want from us? Should be their response, but no, no. What's going to happen is they're going to do... <clears throat> um, they're going to do some performative bullshit. They'll crack down on unnecessary things. And that will, you know, magically fix ethno-nationalism. Because reasons. Because Twitch. Uh... All right, Jesus. All right, um, yeah, dude, my mid back is just messed up. I, I, I'm just, uh, I'm just fucking broken. This body's just broken. So, did everybody see the uh, Democratic endorsements for Connor Lamb versus John Fetterman? 
So Connor Lamb is the Democrat who is like super pack, um, fucking super ca- uh, super pack backed, um, and shit like that. And then uh, John Fetterman is the based ass big ass dude who's like pro weed and pro LGBTQ and stuff like that, and actually kind of a progressive, right? So here's the Democrats. Um, here here's the uh, the fucking endorsements by the Democrats for Connor Lamb, the hundred percent pack, uh, super pack backed fucking corporate douchebag that he is, right? Just. All over the place. Here are the Democrat uh, endorsements of Fetterman. All right. Yeah. (laughs) Uh, Got the unions. Oh. Yeah. Ball in the money. As always, as always, follow the money. Oh, fucking a. Um. So, y'all see that uh, New York now has more Air- Airbnb listings than rentals. Yeah, that's a thing that happened. That's 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 a real that's a real thing. Um, New York isn't even. Like, yeah. Um, Let's see. Inventory for all of Manhattan, Brooklyn, Northwest, Queens. Um, Yeah, five five boroughs. Um, Okay, 7,669 units um, as of end of April. Um, <clears throat> entire uh, Airbnb rentals available in New York, 10,572. So there are 700 and I'm sorry, 7,669 rental units available to rent in New York. There's 10,572 Airbnb units. Oh, I'm sure that's not disrupting the market. I'm sure that's not doing anything to it. B&B housing bubble going to burst? I don't know. I don't fucking know. I don't predict or track those trends. All I can tell, all I can do is report on them. All I can do is tell you that, yeah, Airbnb has effectively taken over uh, fucking... Uh... I feel like I feel like I wanna I don't know. Somebody give me a headline. Yeah, somebody give me a stream title that really pokes at something. Oh, um <clears throat> We're um the the BTFE um, Airbnb might be a better experience than a garden variety landlord. Oh, I don't know about that. That's a toss up, isn't it? Peaky. Oh, I would love to see fucking Fetterman talk shit like right to Pelosi's face. Um. Hold on, I'm talking to my massage guy, and no offense, but he gives me multi-hour massages for free. <laughs> so priorities and all of that. Just gonna wanna just give me one sec. Um, Fucking A. 
There we go. All right. <coughs> um. Make uninsured Airbnbs for uh, sell the property if the owner doesn't live on it. I mean, I'd fuck it insurance one way. Oh, in Crimson, um, fucking what? What prompted the name change? Um, I've been a tourist trap coastal town in the UK. What are we? Sixty percent of our housing housing is holiday rentals, and it's a massive issue. Yeah, I'd imagine. Oh, sitting in this chair is not going to be good for my back. It's just not. Um. Fucking A. Um, so. BATFE, um, Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms, and Explosives. What we generally colloquially refer to as the ATF um, <clears throat> in the U.S. Um, we have tripled our manufacturing of, of firearms. And not just military, like not law enforcement, military. We're talking consumer here. We have tripled our uh, manufa- our number of manufactured firearms since the year 2000. It And in the last three years, according to their data, it has spiked, quote, sharply. This is the most comprehensive uh, f- federal tally of gun commerce done in two decades. This is the most up-to-date data we have. Uh, if anybody wants the report itself... Um, link is in chat. Um, but yes, we, we are arming ourselves to the teeth at present and have been for the last 20 years, basically. Um, yeah, it's in those, in those 20 years, the, uh, we've recovered nearly 20,000 privately manufactured firearms, like completely untraceable like completely untraceable just like yeah and we're not talking zip guns here we're not talking like oh a fucking pipe from uh from home depot plus a nail on the primer can be twenty thousand specifically nineteen thousand three hundred and forty four uh specifically um privately manufactured firearms completely untraceable um so yeah either way um, it increased to 3.9 um, annual three, uh, annual domestic gun production increased from 3.9 million firearms in the year 2000 to 11.3 million in the year 2020 with uh, with a quote relatively small percentage of guns exported overseas. Um, the ATF feels that these are accurate reflections of gun buying habits. At present, they estimate north of 400 million um, non-ghost guns in uh, in the U.S. Um, so, <laughs> uh, 400 million north of 400 million plus an additional 11 million every year that we're aware of, plus. Figure about a thousand to three thousand uh, privately manufactured firearms in ad- added into that per year. Um, oh, we're not even talking pr- 3D printed in this instance. Ghost guns. We're we're talking like actual privately manufactured firearms. Um, yeah. And that's why, right there, and that there, uh, Jesus, and that right there is why the government will never be able to take guns from the public. Good luck, Popo. <laughs> What's up, Matic? Oh. Yeah, but yeah, I found that interesting. Fucking uh, from three point for four million per year up to eleven and a half million per year is basically what we're making. And Beast is correct. Yeah, basic gun tech is relatively simple. Um, 
So, yeah, I, 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 w- I would love, I, I'd love to fucking, uh, you know, have a <clears throat> European, uh, a Euro stand. Uh, yeah, I know, right, Manic? Um, f- try and try and understand this. Like, just try and grasp it. Somebody who isn't Caleb. Caleb doesn't count. Caleb's already broken like we are. So, I came across this. It's called Bionic Reading. Um, and it works for me. Uh, from what we could tell, ba- uh, based on, like, where it was posted uh, on Reddit, it sort of has a hit and miss ratio, but, like, the ones that it works for, it really, really works for. And the ones that it doesn't work for, it just confuses the fuck out of them. Um... Hey, fuck you. I resemble that comment. Yeah, you do. You're kind of like an honorary American. Um, All right. So the one is reading as before, right? Let me uh, let me turn off the music here for the fucking ADHD motherfuckers in this chat. Um, And then the bionic reading variation is over there. And so it basically just and it works for me. There are people that it doesn't work for. I don't, I can't guarantee it'll work if your screen isn't large enough or, you know, the fact that blah, 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 you're a video player, that sort of thing. Kaiser it works for. Okay. Um, damn it. He's figured out how to make us focus. <clears throat> so, yeah, it works for me. Um, I, I was surprised by how uh, efficacious it was. Uh, that... Sonia, Sonia it works for, um, fucking nonsense. That's how I read when I'm performing, performing a raw script, giving times to, it gives me time to think crystal. Oh, hell yes. Oh, wow. That's amazing. Yep. See, I I told you it's, if it works for you, it works for you. Uh, Peaky loves it. Yeah. I, I, I was shocked by this, this thing, this, this methodology, this whatever (laughs) Lillian Maddock. Yeah. Okay. So predominantly fucking my crew likes it. It's like putting your finger in the words. It helps your eyes track the words. Uh, fucking give me a name says, yep, it works. Damn it. Making me reset beasticle. Puka likes it as well. Okay. So uh, here, here's, here's what you guys need to know, I guess. Um, it's called bionic reading. You just made theory at least 90% less boring, uh, boring. Um, so I'm pretty sure here you go. Let's, let's do this. Oh, okay. Here's bionicreading.com. Uh, yeah, you can just fuck off. All right. So you can actually like, you can, it's an API. Like you can build this thing. Apparently these apps have it. If you're looking for which apps. You know, you're look, uh, you want, but yeah. Bionicreading.com. Oh, narrator. Good on you. Narrator. I respect it. I respect it, man. But apparently there's like three app, three reading apps that at present have it. I think it's worth mentioning. I think it's worth noting. It worked for me. So maybe you little uh, ADHD brain motherfuckers can uh, get some relief and be able to read. Like that, that would be an interesting. Uh, um, <laughs> oh, I know who to send my proofreading to. Um, ah, yes. Oh, lovely. I know, now I might be able to finish a dang book. Yeah. Like, I mean, that's... Yeah. Um, I don't think I'm going to be able to sit in this fucking chair. Um, <clears throat> all iOS apps, I want to die. Yeah, well. Um, I have ADHD and dyslexia. You think I can read? Um, okay, so the bionic reading plus... Um, San, San, um, um, Comic Sans or the dyslexia fucking um, font. Either way, it's doable. It's doable. <clears throat> um, oh. 
Dude, we fucking, we cleared space for you last time and you just fucked off. You like literally, we, we checked your fucking stream. You just fucking, I did now. Like I, we, we made time to have a conversation with you. The last time you randomly stopped in and said, anarchist here, want to chat. We fucking took time out of the fucking show. Got a, got everything set up on discord and we're like, where the fuck is this guy? And you just fucked off. So anyway, we're doing headlines. Need to test this one on meds to see if it works better. Uh, yeah. Like I said, bionic reading, give it a shot. It's worth, uh, it's worth trying at least. Uh, it seems to be rather, uh, you know, like I said, efficacious for a large, a large portion of people. Um, it works for me. I don't, I don't even know what that means. I mean, I presume it's baseball, which is the world's most boring sport. Okay, maybe golf. Either way. Uh, <laughs> oh, God. Between my back and the fucking allergies, I'm dying here. I'm fucking dying. Uh, you see the satanic temples given... Um, <clears throat> um, Designs to a oh, there you go. Um, there's a Kansas town. Uh, where is it? What is it? Uh, Haven, Haven, Kansas, Haven, Kansas. The city council. <clears throat> It is, Karina. It's related. It, it's it's related to the same process. Yes, um, the Haven, Kansas, um, fucking uh, uh, nonsense knows. Um, asked the local police department to uh, remove the "In God We Trust" uh, decals from the vehicles and stop using the official Facebook page to promote Christianity. Council member Sandra Williams raised concerns about it, saying that those that was not the uh, forum to be talking about God. Now, to his credit, the police chief um, said that he would do whatever the council wanted him to do, even if he didn't agree with it. The second guessing started very quickly. Mayor Adam Wright said there should probably have been a little more discussion. Now. Oh. Here's the thing. The meeting goes down, and by the end of the meeting, they voted 3-2 to allow the In God We Trust decals back on the vehicles. Now, here's where it gets interesting. The vote occurred after several public comments in support of a Christian nationalist agenda. But they can't, um, they can't do just that. So... The votes were hesitant. The yes votes were hesitant. The council members flipped, only did so after everyone agreed that, quote, similar speech from any other religion or lack thereof can also be added to police vehicles. So the Satanic Temple announced yesterday they'd have designs ready by today. Some of the suggestions, protect, serve, hail Satan, valor, pride, integrity, hail Satan, one nation, hail Satan, duty, honor, community, hail Satan, protect and serve, hail Satan. So, yes, Haven opened themselves up to any other religion who wants to participate in this program. I don't, re <clears throat> I don't recall Haven ever even having a crime. Um, one nation under Moloch. How do you know one? Oh God, I'm doing this again today. Radical Oxford English Dictionary definition. Uh, fundamental or systemic change, especially that within a political system. Done. I uh, love the Satanic Temple so much. Um, fucking. 
Hell yes. Illuminati just released a video on TST, One Nation, and, oh yeah, and then One Nation under Moloch. So yeah, there could be a Kansas uh, Kansas Town's uh, police uh, force riding around with Hail Satan on their cars soon. <laughs> be funny as fuck. I'm there for it. I'm there for it. <clears throat> I mean, maybe, Caleb, maybe. <laughs> oh, Israel as a country. That's adorable. <laughs> to protect, serve, and offer up to Cthulhu. get the flying spaghetti people involved into um, community responsibility the great mushroom connects us all <laughs> it'd be great if you could like monotone text too like you know to protect uh, uh, fucking where was it community responsibility the great mushroom connects us all <clears throat> I'd like to see a mosque in it to be honest it'd be a double take oh yeah um, there's a lot to unpack in that video because she gets most of her info from Queer Satanic, which actually has neo- Jesus Christ, why is Illuminati talking to fucking neo-Nazis now? Or, like, getting detailed. Like, I get why Illuminati might talk to neo-Nazis, but why are they, um, doing research with them and shit like that? That seems, I don't know, weird. There are no mosques in Haven. If there was one Muslim, I would be sh I'd be shocked. This is, this is nonsense. Oh, did everybody see the uh, psycho cunt of a fucking uh, TikToker? This, this bitch actually set the hills on fire for a fucking TikTok video. We should do an agenda reveal. Hot video, though. Uh, no, not yet, apparently. By all accounts. There's mixed reporting on it. Don't know. Uh, oh, and... uh, Jeez. I go... You know what make this felony arson better? Video evidence. <laughs> um, fucking A. <laughs> Video's lit. <laughs> Should be wearing a force wear that stupid hat while in prison, too. <clears throat> uh, did everybody see Tesla got removed from the S&P 500? Uh, ESG, uh, which is environment... Something, something, ah, oh, fuck it, I can't, dude, I, Swede would be environmental, social, and governance. God, Swede would be so disappointed in me. <laughs> um, yeah, <clears throat> um, and don't think that's a huge fucking win. Uh, the environmental, social, and governance list for, uh, S&P 500 includes Exxon Mobil, uh, fucking Marathon Oil, all like yeah there's a bunch of oil shitty oil companies on the ESG list for S&P so no win we love, we love our greenwashing don't we folks right Sort of follow. Ah. Uh.
Do I have the map? I do. Do I have the link to Harvard for that map too? I... Let's see. There you go. Oops, there we go. Oh, all right. Hey, Crail. Duly noted. See, St. Uh, Andrewism's essay on uh, social ecology was a pretty good summary, in my opinion. No, I don't think I did. Dropped your roll into the Discord for anyone who wants to look into queer satanic. Thank you. Uh, thank you, me, Ted. Um, That's not what I wanted. Hey, look, everyone. It's a 1700, uh, 1700s map of the state of Palestine. It's fascinating. Um, some Christian cultists got my main account temp banned just for pointing out how the Bible literally says Jewish people must be in Israel and get wiped out in Armageddon for their prophecy to pay out. Jesus Christ. So you pointed out a biblical fucking fact. And you got a fucking ban for it. Jesus fucking whatever. I, I didn't hear any of that. Jesus fucking Christ. Oh... Uh. I, the performative element of Twitch is just ridiculous. Not my Bible. They hold up a Jordan Peterson book. <clears throat> Ballsy showing that map. Israel incoming. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, you know. Israel was a Western creation. That's the way it is. Palestine existed. Uh Hmm, we did the bionic reading thing. Oh yeah. It is. It is just another European colony. It's just more of that carving up shit. It's like pa Pakistan and India. Thanks, Britain. Um, see Jordan's no amount of authoritarianism will make this beautiful tweet. I did nonsense. I did about the uh the she wasn't even really fat. I mean, especially not by modern American standards, right? She's just kind of, kind of you know, thick girl. So, fucking old school standards, she'd just be healthy, right? She wasn't even, like, morbidly obese. She was just kind of a thick bitch. That's all. Yeah, I saw him. <clears throat> yeah, it wasn't... Just a little thick, exactly. <laughs> the problem with mo with the mo postmodernists is that is they like them thick. Sorry, I can't do a good Jordan. I love setting international borders over lunch. Isn't it great, narrator? Oh, hey, critical. Did he really not leave? Oh, I, I had heard that he was leaving, that he had like instructed his staff to change his password or something. I don't fucking know. Jesus. How much of a fucking like manlet do you have to be to be like, Ch Darla, 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 change my password to Twitter so I don't, I don't, I don't go on the Twitters and twatter with the, 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 the fucking postmodernists. Did 27 tweets after saying so. Jesus goddamn Christ. He's such a fucking addict. Um, most people, I assume, were drunk as fuck when they created those borders. I mean, you know. Most of humanity is... That's the part of history we don't talk about, is that most of humanity was, like, maintaining, like, a, 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 like a solid buzz through most of history. <laughs> most of history is colored as, eh, slightly tipsy. 
Um, yeah, he has his staff do it because he lacks self-control, but also clean your room. Uh, all policy before 2000 was created by drunk people. We should bring that tradition back. Eh. I find drunk people very annoying. Uh, but so, oh God, this is cursed as fuck. And well, that's on you people. I, I saw it. So you have to see it. Here's what, here's what the, um, <laughs> his password is Benzo slut. Here's what, <clears throat> here's what the uh, Twitter tankies are getting up to now. In case you were wondering, Trumpism is Maoism. <clears throat> Trump's movement is a Maoist movement. Fucking, and then we got this dickhead up here. I'm a Republican. I'm a patriot. I want to drain this swamp. I'm also known as a communist. <laughs> How can you be a Republican and a communist? Like... This is this is whole thing is just a shit show. Trumpism is Maoism. This motherfucker thinks he can be a Republican and a communist. Like homie, look up what commu uh, a fucking uh, fucking Republican means. This is just this is a psyop. You can't tell me otherwise. <laughs> Narrator, I understand that impulse. I understand that impulse. I I, I dude, like I said. Words can just mean any damn thing. Narrator, I knew I knew it was over when I had to talk about the stupid fucking ContraPoints tweet where, like, you can be an asexual slut who sleeps around. Okay. Cool. Words don't mean anything anymore that was that was the end for me that was the end i was over that night i remember that night that broke me that broke me yeah <laughs> oh i'm sorry karina yeah Yeah, oh yeah. Dude, that argument was fucking doofy as shit. Psychom, an asexual who is someone who has an abs uh, has an absent interest in sexual activity. That's some revisionist bullshit. According to whose definition? Asexuality is the lack of sexual attraction to others or lower absent interest or desire for sexual activity. Is your spouse have a degree in any of this shit? <laughs> or just rocking their own definitional set? I mean, linguistically, it literally means A, the absence of, or negation thereof. Like, look at the word. Look at the etymology of the word. Lack of sexual attraction or absent interest for sexual activity.
How is sexual activity and sexual attraction going to be divided up here? Are you people having sex with people you're not sexually attracted to? Kaiser, wait till you hear about national anarchism. I know, right? These people are breaking things. Because that might explain why you guys think you're asexuals if you're if you're having sexual activity without with somebody that you don't have sexual interest in. That might explain things. Fuentes having, says having sex is gay. This is in the same camp. This is in the same camp. This is in the same camp as Nick Fuentes. Yes. Arguing that not having straight sex, uh, that not having sex with women is the straightest thing that somebody can do. This is, this is people twisting and breaking things. It is. Biffit, very much so. It's marked as such. Is being gay gay? No, but being straight is gay. And being gay is straight. And being... Mm. No, come back in three and a half hours. You shouldn't have admitted that. Somebody, somebody time Biff it out for three and a half hours. Shouldn't have admitted that, man. Shouldn't have been into that. Fuck it. <laughs> Crimson. People need to leave words, al words alone. Bending them like that is kind of gay. Yes. Nonsense. That's Nick Fuentes. When you were conceived, you had to come out of your dad's dick. That's gay. It's Ducrina. Don't worry about it. I don't know if the Trevor Project is an acceptable source or not. Dude, I found out the fucking, like, fucking sexual preference went out the window like a few years ago and nobody fucking qualified it with for me. They're like, oh, by the way, we've been saying this one thing your entire life, but now not. This basically argues that ba you don't get to use the word asexual because there's a whole bunch of other words that you need to explore. Because the asexuality is an umbrella term that doesn't fucking mean shit for shit anymore. Because people have added so many subterms. This literally, all this does is argue successfully for me that language does, words don't mean anything anymore. This is literally a document arguing this for me. Words mean nothing. This is in the same camp of that dude that argued homosexuality. You can have sex as a you can have sex with dudes and be straight. This is the exact same shit all over again. There are too many, these are broad terms that don't mean anything.
the folks. Yeah, this is just like that dude that tried to argue you do, guys can have sex with other guys and not be homosexual. Okay, sure. If you want it to be, that's fine for you. Hey, AJ. Is Twitch pretending to care again? Not yet, AJ. No. Twitch isn't even pretending to care yet. Uh, to care again yet. They're waiting to see how much heat they get. Then they'll see how much they need to pretend to care again. They're waiting on it, though. Yeah, that's... Y'all motherfuckers need to stop proving Justin. Uh, fucking Justin. Hey, Justin. Y'all motherfuckers need to uh, stop proving Jordan Peterson right. That's a problem. It's like my mom telling me that she's straight. No, you made out with both your best friends and had sex with one of them. Uh, you're, you, Justin, you're fine. Don't even worry about it. I wasn't talking to you. How was your stream, man? What'd you get up to? Um, I knew a lesbian who slept with guys, which confused the heck out of me. Like, Biatch, you're bi. Yes. Um, I also saw the other day a woman claiming to... I, what was that one that we showed last week about being a lesbian who... Um, I'm a lesbian who uh, sleeps exclusively with men. I just like to have sex with men as a lesbian. Is that a thing you can do now? Can you have sex with, with exclusively with men as a lesbian? I am a lesbian who has no attraction to women, sexual or romantic. I sleep exclusively with men, but I sleep with them like a lesbian. Is that a thing we can do? Because I saw that one the other week. I literally saw that one last week. You can just have sex with men as a woman. As a lesbian, exclusively. That's a thing now. You can you can sleep with men like a lesbian, apparently. Don't blame me. This is what happens when you don't put guardrails on some of this shit. Yeah. This is called this is called drift. Fucking like this is this is how we end up with words like cool, meaning not cool. Like, okay, that'd be having sex with him like a uh, like a man. Pegging is having sex like a man, not a woman. Women don't have a, a fucking, you know, by by design. Like that's that's how that works. And don't get, miss me with the fucking gender shit. Women can have dicks now too. You know damn well it's not what we're talking about. Ah. Uh. Half of them fight over it if I'm on team. Cis lesbians got to tackle that. I blame the same idiots who say that attack gender, a helicopter gender is legit and no longer transphobic. Jesus Christ. You can't. We need guardrails, folks. We need guardrails. I mean, this is, this is, honestly, I really do feel this way sometimes. As a technician, as a technologist, nothing would ever get built if a lot of you motherfuckers were in charge of our technical uh, expertise. The ISO standards and the IEEE standards that functionally run this world that make it so that we can land a fucking rover on Mars, that we can make sure that the ISS stays in orbit. Too many descriptivists. Too many descriptivists. <laughs> My pronouns are wop wop. Is that racist? Probably. Probably. But hey, we'll see. fucking that's I mean Trumpism is now Maoism 
too many people don't even know what the ISO is. Of course they don't. It makes your world possible. The ISO makes your world fucking possible. Descriptivists basically say, uh, Caboose, a descriptivist says the, uh, the linguistic function is as a descriptive one. However people use the word, that's the definition. A prescriptivist says we have a definition, we use that. There's room for both. But when one becomes out of balance with, that, uh, with the other, things get weird very quickly. And when you start having like medical terminology become descriptivist, it gets weird. When you start using scientific terminology and you start uh, assigning descriptivist definitions to it, things get weird very quickly. And this is also how we end up with the euphemism treadmill. This is how we end up with moron being banned as a tw Twitch stream title and not idiot. Because descriptivists, they're out of fucking control. They need reining in from time to time. What Kaiser say? Whop. Oh, God. Fucking. Okay, I can do this. Uh, Pneumona Ultra micro, uh, Microscopic Silica Vulcan. Uh, Vulcan. Uh, Vulcan. Uh, Volcanic. Uh, Volcanokiosis. Volcanic. Kind of. Oh, fuck it. I'm fucked. What? Right wingers are morons is my catchphrase. Yeah, I found that one out the other day, Justin. I can't use morons in my stream title, but I can use idiots. The, the, the stream title literally fucking Twitch does that. Twitch does that. That like you're you're forbidden from using um from using morons in your stream title. Idiots is fine though. I'm like, okay. It's weird. You can't use freak or freaking, and you weren't allowed to put edge lord. Jesus fucking Christ! All right, hang on. I I want to I want to experiment with some of these. Freak a lot. Freak freak happens. Uh, edge lord, I cannot. Freak allows, uh, I'm allowed freak and I'm allowed freaking. But yeah, Edgelord is in fact banned. No, my tags are intact. My tags are intact. Uh, dipshit? No, shit is uh, strictly for forbidden in the title. Hold on, let me try dipshit. Yeah, dipshit isn't allowed either. No. No, shit. All the major cuss words. Senor Edge. All the major cuss words and iterations thereof. It's a simple regex check. So any 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 of your typical bad words, those are out. And any derivations thereof. So ass flaps, whatever. Hmm, interesting. Santorum is an interesting question. Santorum. Nope, Santorum's allowed. The fr the frothy pr the uh, frothy byproduct of anal sex uh, 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 lubricant uh, and, and um, fecal matter as a result of anal sex is allowed. I don't know critical. I've never tested it that far. <laughs> Twitch's butthole is too tight for the giant stick they have shoved up there. No, Santorum's not a name. <laughs> Move to Texas, sue them, then immediately get the fuck out of Texas. 
that's actually, you're right. Under the newest Texas law, a Texas Twitch streamer could sue Twitch for not allowing them to do that. That is entirely true. Um, let me see if Edgelord is allowed. Edgelord two words is allowed. Did you see the shit that happened where there was an autoban from a script of people who follow people on some naughty list happened to James? No, nonsense. Explain more. I did not see that. Um, Simp went out with the Bernie campaign. During, during the end of the Bernie campaign, Simp went out because we have um, shrimps for Bernie who used to have simps for Bernie. And he had to change his username as a result of that one. Um, I do believe Cuck is still out as well. Yeah. So theoretically, though, yeah. Um, yeah, Simp was, uh, Simp was a good one. Keffels banned anyone who followed Dylan Burns. I'm okay with that. I can work, I, I can work with that. Fuck Dylan Burns. <laughs> Fuck anyone who follows Dylan Burns. If you have a follow for Dylan Burns on your account, fuck you too. Um... Oh, it's almost like having an authoritarian fucking bot named after a douchebag who wanted to nuke the globe to accelerate uh, as a form of accelerationism is a bad idea. Oh, it's almost like I've been talking about this for ages. Fuck the Posada bot. Inclusive for cuck is cucks. There's other ways to keep an eye on somebody, Crimson, than fucking falling in their channel. Yeah, fuck the Posada bot. Oh, and fuck what's his name and the other guy that fucking run it too while we're at it. I don't even remember these idiots' names. I just remember being fucking woke scolded by them because we were talking about how uh, traditional Chinese medicine is. Um, I'm not banned from that bot at all. I have no bans from that bot. I just refuse to run it. I've refused to run it for years. I have zero bans on my account from that. You can check it. Check the Proudly Radical bot against Posada bot. Go for it. Um, no, fuck Posada bot. Fuck anybody who runs it. It's an authoritarian bullshit idea. It's blacklisting of the highest order. I don't, uh, I don't judge people based on uh, their interactions with others. I judge them based on their interactions with me and this channel and my community members. That's how that works. Um, yeah, we called uh, we told we called fucking traditional Chinese medicine retarded on a, sh a voice call one time, and fucking I forget what's his name, Posada bot guy, lost his fucking mind. Lost his fucking mind. We're like, dude, they grind up rhino horn. They kill endangered species and grind up rhino horn to try and get their dick hard. Go fuck yourself. I'm not, you know, yeah. Bruh, Chinese medicine is some straight BS. It is. Uh, yeah, oh yeah. I, 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 most of the fucking uh, uh, Posada bot users are bread tube streamers. Viagra works too. Viagra works. It doesn't work too. Viagra works. Rhino horn doesn't. Right? Like, critical. No, it's not. Do you know how easily you can shut down a hate raid? It's not complicated. How is this, how is this complicated? There's literally a setting. 
You can you can shut it down in a you can shut it down in a moment. It's not complicated. You know why it's complicated for most fucking small streamers? It's because they don't know how to stream. They don't know anything about their software. They don't know anything about their platform. They don't know anything about the, you know what? And if you're walking through this world ignorant as fuck, you can be easily attacked or taken advantage of. That has nothing to do with the platform. That has everything to do with fucking willful ignorance. Jesus fucking Christ. You can shut all that shit off so quickly. <laughs> and, and weasel, half these idiots think that a hate rate is two people disagreeing with them. Um, it's not complicated to deal with this stuff. I've dealt with tons of them. It's, and it, with today's setup, the way I have things lo working today, I can shut it down in an instant. All, all notifications can get cleared instantly. Everything can be fucking just shut down. You can completely, t uh, fucking, if there's follows from people you don't want to be followed by, you can purge them from your role. Like it's, it's not complicated. Just fucking sit down and learn what you're doing. Take a minute. Maybe, maybe before you expose yourself to such traumatic events that you should fucking like, you know, prepare yourself for them. I, I don't see the hate raid thing is like, homie, learn how to stream, turn it off. Like I, I, I literally have a fucking button here. All the alerts go away with a single click. Just done. Just poof. <laughs> I, I don't understand this shit. I really don't. So instead what we do is we run some weird crypto fascist fucking named after a guy who advocated for nuclear war fucking authoritarian blacklist bot that does nothing but just add an extra point of vulnerability. Cool. As we've just seen, as demonstrated by this example, apparently, that James from the internet got fucking purged, banned from a bunch of shit because, you know, blacklists. Blacklists are bullshit. So, is what it is. You run Posada bot, you risk alienated pe alienating people who were just trying to do something. Right? James from the internet is a good guy. He has no malicious intentions. He's just trying to fucking do do what he does. Meanwhile, he's getting fucking purged and banned all, all, all sorts of places because a list. Because he's on a list. Like, that's, that's exactly what I would expect. No, I don't. I don't. Posada Bot's a terrible idea. He was on a list of a list. Jesus Christ. Hey, there's James. <laughs> uh, the second you speak, that bot runs your username and prints all the places you've been banned. And when lefty see that, they ban you instantly, a bunch of babies. I mean, I'm a lefty, but I don't disagree with that statement. Manage your own fucking channel. Like, that's... Posada bot is for somebody who is too ignorant or lazy to manage their own channel. It's that simple. Get one decent mod. Just find one decent mod and go. We need to desissify the left. <laughs> um, thank you, Craigs. I just... We're up against people who are willing to lock and load. You know that, right? You know that, right? Like we're, we're up against people who are literally willing to lock and load at this point. They, they will arm themselves, go into a combat scenario and shoot motherfuckers up. A fascist works out every day. Yeah. It's, it, We need to toughen up a little bit. We need to toughen up a little bit. 
I don't think it's going to happen, though. So, anyway, is what it is. It is what it is. Hot take, the hate raids are only effective because the left is full of absolute weaklings. <laughs> Puka, yeah, it's scary, seriously. Um, I don't understand how they're effective. I mean, at most, they're disruptive. At most. If, if a hate raid can disturb your psyche to the point where you truly are having issues, you should not be streaming. The internet is not a safe space. The internet is not a safe place. It's not. It's not. It's not. You should have a highly curated subreddit list that keeps you out of everything that is potentially like you should have. You should not be a public target. That's that's just that's like having a like a, a emotion or sleep disorder and being like I drive all the time. Why? You're putting yourself in an unsafe situation by doing so. I don't understand that. It's it's a risk. You can do things to mitigate it, but it carries an inherent risk. And if you don't accept those risks, then when the consequences of risking that comes into play, well, kind of is what it is. Uh oh, you sound like Destiny. That alone gets people banned. Joking. But you and him aren't wrong about people who shouldn't be on the internet. I don't know Destiny's take on it, but I mean, that's. I, I just like. I think back to like skydiving and rock climbing and shit like that. And then it's like, you know, oh, I have a fear of heights. Why are you here? Are you looking to conquer this fear? Or are you looking to give into it? Because I've, I've experienced plenty of people that are just like, you know. Oh, I thought I'd try it and like, you know, you are going to fuck this up for the rest of us. You know that, right? Like you're going to be on belay. So not, you're not going to be on belay. We would never let somebody like that on belay, but somebody's going to have to belay you and we're going to have to just lower you to the ground because you're not going to be able to climb. Like it's, it's just, we're just going to end up having to fucking rope you down. Leftists be acting like hate raids are our biggest problem when there's like literally a dude shooting up a fucking store, right, Kaiser? There's literally a motherfucker out there double tapping black people with the fucking head, right, on the ground in a fucking supermarket. And like, dude, we're, we're not prepared. Uh, imagine what the left could do if they just got over themselves. We might be able to get some of this left unity. We could get the lefties to toughen up a bit. Or freeze at the plane door and hold up the line so you miss your mark. Oh, yeah, tons of those, Beast. Tons of those. Fucking, and you know what? It was almost always fucking dudes. It was occasionally, like, a grandmotherly type that she wanted to, like, get her, you know, kicks in before she died. But the truth of the matter is, is most of it was dudes trying to prove that, prove something to themselves. The ones who freeze at the door of the plane are usually, like... 21 year old frat bro to 50 year old executive it's usually who i saw freeze at the door that they're like i i can't i can't i can't why are you here why are you here just fucking push them out and fucking call it a day <clears throat> fucking Smart to trying certain things out, but not looking to endanger others. Also, not a f yeah, like I would Puka. I'd also just go so far as to say uh, negatively affect others. Fuck, fucking danger, right? Like if you're gonna make my streaming experience worse because you can't handle turning off a fucking alert, you don't need to be streaming. <laughs> That's ah. Uh... Good on you, Rev. He says, if you have too much mental health issue due to social media or streaming, then you probably shouldn't be on social media or streaming. And the left reads at him saying he's ableist or something and it's toxic. No, you dumb fucks. Take care of your mental health and get off the internet. Why is that a controversial take? If, if you're fragile enough, if, you're, if you've got enough trauma, if you've got issues, 
that preclude you from like engaging in social media spaces or online spaces. Why is suggesting that maybe you shouldn't participate in those spaces somehow controversial? If an alcoholic, if we suggested an alcoholic not go to a bar because it's self-destructive and damaging to them and traumatic and like, are we, am I the asshole for saying the alcoholic should hang, hang out in the bar? Is that really where we've arrived as the left? Is that like, hey, you know, like I know you're a former addict and all, but maybe you shouldn't hang out with junkies all the time. How dare you, you ableist, like, no, I'm suggesting that there's a vector of problem for you and your refusal to separate yourself from that vector is a further cause of problems. How is that controversial? Jesus fucking Christ, we're doomed. Common sense ain't common. Yeah, I know, right, Bobby? I'm terrified of heights, but I totally want to throw myself out of a plane. I'm like, Caleb, uh, there's no, uh, depending on where you jump, um, there's no point of reference, so you won't actually get the fear of heights. It's controversial because some people expect the world to adjust to their needs automatically without taking responsibility for their own care. Oh. Jesus Christ. I mean, the fact, it, it's, so, Sonia, like, for, for sure. Like, so, hey, Resolution, Sonia, like, Thank you. Like, Sonia, that actually, like, that, yes, thank you. That, uh, that, that makes it make sense in my brain, at least, like, what's going on. Uh, it's a hot take because the spaces shouldn't be toxic. It's everyone else's problem, not theirs. It's not the alcoholic's problem. It's the bars. Which is just a sort of rewording of what Blunt Sonia said. Just, you know, simultaneously. Parallel thinking. Not an actual rewording, but, you know. Yeah, Weasel and Sonya, thank you. Like, because, I, I, yeah, like, that shit doesn't make sense in my brain. Like, I'm I'm an extreme sports guy from way back. Like, that, that legitimately doesn't make sense in my brain. Like, I mean, he is banging her after all, Dive. I mean, you gotta, you know, I think he is, right? <laughs> Vosh is banging Tim Pool. You know that, right? Yeah. Vosh and Tim Pool have had a secret love affair for the past two years. It's true. Yeah. Yeah, fucking um, Vosh just mushes that fucking beanie-covered bald head down into the fucking pillow and just... Great replacement! Um, uh, God, I want that rumor to actually catch on. God, I want that rumor to catch on. God, I want that rumor to catch on. I love the good for thems. <laughs> good for them. That's like saying it's the dispensary's fault I smoke weeds. It's <laughs> you know, right? Uh, Manifest any definitely banging Southern. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. Seems to be that way. Um, but yeah, I want to, I want to ship Vosh and uh, Tim pool. I think that's the funniest pair. Vosh and Tim pool. Um, but yeah, Destiny apparently is like probably banging Lauren Southern. Whatever. Uh, you can't call someone bald. It's considered sexual harassment. <laughs> oh God. Oh, we're almost there too. Your resolution. I ship it. Yeah. Vosh and Tim Pool. I think it'd be funny. All right, Karina, I'll, uh, I'll try and be available. Duly noted. Vosh pool. Yeah, I guess that's the only option, right? Can I sue my job then? I've been called been, uh, bald multiple times. Oh, shit. Holy fuck. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you, me toad. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. I fuck. Fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck you. A 
fucking UK tribunal ruled. I mean, this is Daily Mail. I don't fucking trust it, but. Bald is a form of discrimination. Okay, I mean, that we can get there. But there's a connection, in our judgment, there's a connection between the word bald on the one hand and the protected characteristic of sex on the other. Referring to the claimant as a bald cock or cunt. Is it cunt or cock? It's probably cunt. It's the UK. You bald cunt. You bald cunt. That feels right. Bald cunt. Uh, Mr. King, the supervisor's conduct was un unwanted. It was a violation of the claimant's dignity. It created an intimidating environment for him. It was done for that purpose and it was related to the claimant's sex. Women could go bald. Women can go, wait, women can go bald. Female baldness is a thing. This feels discriminatory in its own way. And men can have breasts. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, this feels like oddly. Carpe, um, hello, wigs, anyone? Chris Rock got slapped for it. <laughs> thank you for, thank you for your service, Chris. Uh, <laughs> If I was bald, I'd polish my head till it blinded folks, says Sonia. Yeah, women bald. <laughs> women baldness is a thing, just ask G.I.J. <laughs> uh, so bald heads are equivalent to tits now? I mean, apparently, according to a UK tribunal, at least, or at least according to a U Daily Mail article reporting on a UK tribunal via another fucking website. So take it for what it's worth. Um, but yeah, yeah, that was... Oh, fuck me. God, we fucking suck. <laughs> Keep my bald head out of your fucking mouth. Um, all bald heads must be covered in public, says Carpe. <laughs> oh, I, I just... I'm so tired of fucking idiots. I'm so f tired of fucking, like... <sighs> I'm tired of the discourse on the left being something like asexuals can be sluts and fucking, like, lesbians can sleep with... Lesbians can sleep exclusively with dudes and shit like that, right? Like, there's, there's motherfuckers literally double tapping black folk in an organized fashion. And the left is concerning itself with that discourse. I, I just, words mean nothing. The right is winning. We're fucked. Is this the fucking thing? Caleb, is this it? Oh my God, it's real. It's real. It's real. Fucking, I, I have the employment tribunal document case number stuff in front of me right now. Yeah, it's 100% real. Fuck all the Daily Mail shit. Fat, bald, old cunt and stupid, old, bald cunt. Oh, this timeline says a resolution. I know, right? Female presenting hair loss. Uh, if you called a woman ugly without her makeup, I'd say the same as God. He's bald and gross. I mean... Jesus fucking Christ. We're doomed. <laughs> We're doomed. <coughs> We're doomed. Yeah. Yep. We have we have straight lesbians, asexual sluts. Fucking we're doomed. Like we're doomed. This is this is this is where the left is choosing to draw its battlefield lines. Not around, hey, maybe we shouldn't be cutting deals with people who assassinate black people in the streets. 
We care most about... Oh, God. Carpe's going to drop some truth, and it's going to bum me out. Here we go. We care most about shit that doesn't matter because the change necessary to fix this world is too scary. Um, you know what, Carpe? Like, I don't need you to be bringing that reality up in this bitch like that. Right? It's... it's I'm entirely... Like, I'm entirely too sober. I'm entirely too sober for this. I, I feel assaulted. I feel attacked. I, 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 I think I need to draw up a tribunal. I think we need to get a tribunal go going. You just attacked me like that. Um, yeah. Yeah, I think, I, I, I think I'm going to have to... I think I'm going to have to sue you, Carpe. I'm going to have to sue you. Sorry, man. Just... It had to be done. It had to be done. <laughs> Reality sucks. <laughs> Um, you care, babe. Call the reality, please. <laughs> Fucking. Oh God. It just, it just doesn't fuck it. Doesn't fuck it end, does it? Oh, and you weren't here for it, Carpe, but you deserve it. Um. <laughs> this is, is my idea of what Carpe deserves, by the way. <laughs> Here you go. Here you go, Carpe. I'm a Republican. I'm a patriot. I want to drain the swamp. I'm also known as a communist. I'm a Republican. I'm a communist. Trumpism is Maoism. Trump's movement is a Maoist movement. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Carpe and C. Um, fucking. <laughs> Imagine thinking that you can be a Republican and a communist at the same time. Not even American Republican, but just Republican. Imagine thinking that you can be a Republican and a communist at the exact same time. <laughs> I'm a Republican and a communist. Trumpism is Maoism. <laughs> oh, <laughs> wow. Very Marxism. So Lenin. Oh, fucking A. Y'all saw, um, it should Puka. It should. Y'all saw that the 911 operator at that fucking Buffalo shooting hung up on the collar. <laughs> I read that tweet and Ralph Wiggins was, I'm in, I'm in danger. Uh, what kind of drugs are they having and should I have some? I mean, resolution, a resolution, whether you should have some or not is up to you. Personal responsibility, but holy shit, they're probably on drugs. Anyway, um, yeah, y'all see that the fucking, that Buffalo shooter, like the employee called 911 and the 911 operator hung up on her. <laughs> Uh, hey, the new IRA are communists, according to some of them. The the new Irish Republican Army is communist. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, fucking. Uh, the assistant manager, a woman by the name of Letitia, um, said she dialed 911 after the gunman opened fire. But the dispatcher who picked up, quote, yelled at her and ended the call. When asked to describe the fatal scene, she she said, I didn't really see much at all. I just heard the gunshots and just dropped to the ground and waited for him to stop, and he just wouldn't stop. The assistant manager said she was she was whispering while uh, speaking with 911 services because she could, at one point, she could hear the gunman nearby. When I whispered on the phone to 911, the dispatcher started yelling at her, saying, why are you whispering? You don't have to whisper. And she's like, I'm trying to tell her, ma'am, he's in the store. He's shooting. It's an active shooter. I'm scared for my life. Um, she, <clears throat> in order to get through through the authorities, she asked her significant other to call the authorities um, after the 911 operator called, uh, hung up on her. So she called her boyfriend and told him to call 911 and he managed to get 911 notified so fun times so what you know when they come through here and talk about what are we going to do without the police 
whatever would we do without those po- those beloved police of ours? We can't even get them to fucking answer the phone. Let alone show up and do something. Yeah. God, I love it. There are people who butt dial 911 that get better treatment. We're going to thrive. Uh, dispatcher wanted a higher body count as my assistant. But Jesus Christ. Fuck it. Call me back when you have nine bodies at least. Uh, yeah, I think we could do better. Dude, any... Honestly, I think a series of five-year-olds could do better than that. At least they wouldn't be malicious about it. They'd be completely incompetent, but we already have completely incompetent. But we also have completely incompetent and malicious. So, you know, that, I, I just, fucking ridiculous. Is this the, uh, oh yeah. Hmm. Oh, we should watch that. We should watch that. We should watch that. We should watch that. I'm so sick of people asking, what do you do if you get robbed or raped without the police? I know, right? Same thing I do with them. Nothing. Like, I, I, like you either prevent your own robbery and rape or else nothing happens because police don't prevent robbery and rape. See Warren v. DC? Yeah, I mean, could you imagine the police not responding to robberies or rapes? I know. Right? How many, um... Some of the fem- uh, some of the, the women, the females, the fucking whatever you may identify as uh, in chat probably know some of those rape statistics. I want to see their theft rape murder stats for police as a demographic. It'd be great, uh, Carpe, except we can't get those numbers. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we already know they, they, they beat us on theft. Carpe, we know they beat us on theft because civil asset forfeiture accounts for more money, uh, more assets stolen from the public than all of the various forms of larceny and theft combined. So civil asset forfeiture, they already beat us on theft. We know that. Tick that one. Murder, I don't think they're going to beat us on. I think we uh, murder, they're not going to be able to beat us on. Now the rape, they may actually be able to compete on that one. Um, I'd love to see the rape statistics. So, was it one in five? Maybe I'm misremembering this crimson. I don't. I don't remember, but it's 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 a disturbingly high number. I I honestly, I think it's like yeah, they shot. They may solve one in five rapes or something like that. Yeah, uh, yeah. It's just weird stuff. Yeah, yeah. They they mm, yeah they they're competitors. They, they put up numbers in at least two out of those three categories for sure. Whoopsie. <clears throat> yep. Nazi punks fuck off. Are you uh, neo Nazi? Carpe. Neo Nazi. Yeah. Um, a fucking Nazi showed up to uh, a fucking punk show. And history repeated itself. <laughs> Why punk bands are badass. Stop? Fuck no. Play harder. See, that's himself. Yeah, we never get accurate reporting. That's, I agree. We never get accurate reporting himself. 100%. <coughs> Infant. <coughs> Sorry. <clears throat> one out of six. Oh, wait. Crimson. What? What's. They solve one out of six for sexual violence? Is that, is that what we're. Oh, puddle infants died recently after the FDA ignored Dragon's feet on complaint from a whistleblower about conditions the baby form of manufacturer. I don't know all the details. Yeah, it was the one out of the three major manufacturers of baby baby formula had like an E. coli outbreak. Yeah. Um. 
Ah, uh, fucking Nazis going to punk shows. Always amazing. That's clearance, not necessarily. Yeah, that's clearance, not necessarily conviction either. That is true. Um, let's see. We talked about that. We talked about that. We talked about that. Oh, you know what? I liked this. I liked this video. And you know what? It was amusing. It was amusing. Um, no, one out of six for women being victim of attempted or com uh, completed rape. Oh, yeah. No, I want to know, like, what's, um, what's the, the solve rate? Like, what, what what's the, the clearance rate? All right, here we go. Oh, I saw that. It amused me. It amused me. <clears throat> Still a better love story than Twilight. Yeah, it didn't include pedophilia. Thirty point six percent in twenty twenty. That's way more than I expected. That's way more than I expected. I mean, that's significantly more than I expected. Beautiful story on par with something Tolstoy would write. Only three cops though. Eh, you know when they kill each other, the cops don't care. Oh God! All right. Hey, look at you, fucking uh, <clears throat> Scotland, Scotland Yard confirming conservative MP arrested on rape and sexual assault offenses spanning a seven year period. Unnamed MP. They're not naming the MP. Scotland Yard arrested a fucking member of parliament for sexual assault offenses and rape spanning seven years. And they're, re they refuse to, un they refuse to name him. What the fuck? What kind of fucking three ring circus bullshit y'all got going on over there. Texting this shit, yeah, for sure. Until the conclusion of the investigation, will not be commenting further. No, you never do in Europe, but pretty, uh, everyone pretty much will know soon. <clears throat> yeah, I know, right? I don't fucking know, Crystal. All I know is it shouldn't apply to fucking members of parliament. Oh, fuck it. I'm just exhausted. Let's see. One in five expected. Nearly one quarter will experience. One in three women will. Okay. One in four men. Not uh, if you include um, prison. Oh, that's just between ages 11 and 17. That's not including the prison population. Interesting. Yeah. Um... Yeah, it looks like this doesn't actually the natural uh, the National Sexual Violence Resource Center doesn't really take into account much uh, for um, prison. It seems that they just completely write off incarcerated men. 
and women by the looks of it. Interesting. Even the uh, even the fucking uh, National Sexual Violence Resource Center is sort of like prejudiced against prisoners. I hope it's Reese Mogg. Fuck that twat. Um, <clears throat> yeah, that's a little disconcerting. That's a shame. Like that, that they should be taking that into account. Where are they getting their numbers? Yeah, I don't. I'm looking at, yeah, I'm looking at their data brief here. There's no mention of prison, jail, incarceration. What's up, Jack? <clears throat> I think a lot of the stats I looked to included sexual assault in the rape calculation, but it looks like around 30%, give or take. Well, thanks for putting in the legwork on that. Crimson. Um, so they perpetuate the dehumanization of prisoners because they deserve it or something. I guess, yeah. Like this is super kind of disc. This this is a little. This is a little fucked. This is more than a little fucked. This is this is you know, yeah. Like the, the the group that's supposed to be all about. Ending sexual violence also means ending racism, sexism, and all forms of oppression doesn't take prisoners into account in their statistics about sexual violence. That's a little fuck it. Like, that's fucked up. That's a little bothersome. <sighs> Let's see. So prison isn't depression? Yeah, I guess not. Uh, they'd have to have stats for guard on prisoner stuff. Dude, they'd have to have stats for a lot of stuff that's uh, self-reported. Uh Yeah, that's that's all self-reported. You see the number of like reports to the DOJ for last year went down to like a, an all-time low. So like 1% or 4% or something like that. To be fair, when has the U.S. treated prisoners as people? Club fed? Anybody who gets sentenced to club fed. Oh, that's right. Jesus Christ. I, I forgot to I forgot to announce that. Um, you guys, you guys, you guys heard, right? Um, you guys heard Elon is going to vote Republican. <laughs> that uh, apparently is a thing that matters. So is Jimmy Dore. <laughs> oh, Jimmy Dore. <laughs> it wasn't already. I know, right? I would have guessed so. Next in the news, water is wet, fire is hot. Hmm. Holy shit. Really? Wow.
Oh wait, I wasn't recording. Here, wait, once he finishes, I'll like show the time. <laughs> no, that he's like still running. Here he comes. Come on, Gary! He might get it. That's the time right now. Oh, he's going to get it! The official time, 357.98. 357.98. A high schooler ran a 357.98. That's... He's one of 14 people to fucking pull that one off. But, like, he, he broke the record. J Jack. Yes. Very, very much. It's, it's, it, we're, we're talking, this is very high pacing. Very high pacing. I, Jesus. Carpe sub four. Yeah. Sub four for a high schooler. <clears throat> He's going to be fine during the zombie apocalypse, whichever version happens. Yeah, he is. Or he'll be the scariest zombie. Mito's correct. <laughs> or he'll be the fucking scariest zombie. Yeah, with 357.98 as a high schooler. I, Jesus Christ. How old is he? He's a senior. Okay. He's a senior. No, it is. Yeah, Papa John. It's 100% Olympic grade activity. Like, it's 100% Olympic grade activity. He, um, he, he plans to, he hopes to become an Olympic athlete. That's, he's going to attend University of Virginia and he wants to be an Olymp Olympian. Um,. Last guy to beat that record went on to the Olympics and won medals. So, I mean, respect him after the race. The problem with being fast in the light is you're always in the dark. Jesus Christ. Um, fuck me. 357.98. That's impressive. Um, jeez, good on him. <clears throat> Jesus Christ, I can't do a Rodney Dangerfield, right? Yeah, I can't do a Rodney Dangerfield. So that's how fast you have to run to escape Virginia? Basically, fucking, and a Catholic school. <laughs> uh, that's Pennsylvania Catholic League Championship. I mean, good on you, kid. Good on you. I, I love a good. I love a good run like that. That's amazing. Three fifty-seven ninety-eight as a fucking co as a high schooler. When that kid actually starts bulking and getting some like fucking strapped muscles on him, it'll be impressive. If you aren't jolly, you can't do Rodney. Yeah. Was there a priest running behind him for motivation? Probably. Ha, I win. <sighs> I just went because it sounds like Jeremy Cunt. Uh, he is built differently. For sure he's built differently. Jesus Christ. It's impressive. I 
I didn't realize you could do that. I had no idea that that was an option. Did y'all know this was an option? Give me a name. Who is it? Give me a game. Give me a name. <laughs> yeah, just give me a name. Just give me a name. Um... Don't get caught. Don't get caught. Don't get caught. No oh, munchy babies, Jesus. <laughs> Cut speed soldier. Jesus Christ. Good on you, Cassie. The girl I worked with over the weekend told me how her rent's going up 400, so I sent that to, I sent that to her. She says, dig, Jesus. Um, who the... I This is a name I've never heard before. What is an Andrew Rosendale? Allegedly. Allegedly. This is an Andrew Rosendale. He supported the reintroduction of the death penalty. I love that. Um, he joined the conservative party at age 14. I Karina, enjoy. What? I know that was a solid that, that lined up solidly uh, name I know right Carpe Jesus Christ wait he had huge admiration for Pinochet. Jesus Christ. In an interview, he stated, Augusto Pinochet assumed power in a coup d'etat and overthrew a democratically elected government. According to various reports and investigations, thousands of people were killed in this process. Uh, fucking uh, torture and regime. Rosendale made the comments whilst defending a local colleague who'd been criticized for apparently endorsing Pinochet and stated that Pinochet had overthrown a far worse communist regime and that should we, we should be grateful for the assistance Pinochet's Chile uh, provided to the British forces retaking the Falkland Islands. Seems like a great guy. Seems like a great guy. Oh, he tried to become mayor of London. Brain worms are well fed. Well, that's nice. That's your right. Who would have guessed? <laughs> Lovely. Lovely. <laughs> Cultural Marxism. 
Oh no no, hundred percent. Boom. Yeah, he's he's hundred percent pro Brexit. Campaign for Brexit. Yeah, hundred percent. Uh, anti IRA. He was for like uh, providing uh, restitution to families that had been uh, affected by them. Apparently, um, he wanted to create a dedicated entry queue for citizens of countries where the British Queen is head of state. Oh God! And more Queen shit, more monarchy shit. The humiliation of having a pink European Union passport will soon be over. <clears throat> Jesus Christ. He's a flag fanatic. Member of the Flag Institute. Jesus Christ. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. Flag hump and fa oh my god, he's a f We'll pay attention to it. Oh, I bet he'd like uh, flags with Hindu symbols on them. I bet he'd like the Jain flag. Jain flag. Um, I bet he follows Paul Joseph Watson, too. Oh, <laughs> uh, let's see. That account is following 11,700 people. Jesus Christ. What's up, Will Farms? Hmm. Um, oh, the Swiss are buying 36 F-35s from us. 5.5 billion dollars. Thank you, the completely neutral army that is Switzerland for propping up our military industrial complex more. It's great. 5.5 billion dollars spent on 36 uh, F-35As. Uh, Finland has decided to buy 64 of them. Germany wants to buy 35, and Canada is going to buy 88 of them. They're going to be worth $3 billion the moment they're flown off the lot. <laughs> uh, so, hang on. I'm going to do some math here. Five, five. Oh, pff, Jesus Christ, as I just start. All right, so divide by 36 times... All right, um, let's do this. Hang on. 64 plus 35 plus 88 plus 36. So just between Switzerland, Germany, Finland, and Canada will make about $34 billion. And that's $34 billion back on a $1.5 trillion program. Uh, <clears throat> Oh, 100%, Jack. 100% they do. Canada making money moves. I hate it. Don't say I never did anything for you. Oh. Um, apparently, if you want to get to Haz, look at this shit. He posted this yesterday. 
apparently there's a really easy way to annoy Haz everyone. Just out of hilarity. Oh, dig. I also watched uh, the water special on what is it? Fucking, I forget which one of our local news we had, but they did the the uh, yearly like water summary of who's using the most water and that sort of stuff. Um, we're doing really well, actually. Our reclamation and reuse uh, water reuse levels are impressive. Uh, impressive. Um, we have some of the highest water reuse and reclamation rates in the world. Um, if the water doesn't go outside, uh, yeah, uh, dig, I think it was last night. Um, if the water doesn't go outside, Las Vegas captures nearly 100% of the water back. Um, it's our external uses that burn water. Um, yeah, we're, we're almost like if we could get rid of the golf courses, our number one consumer is Lake Las Vegas dig and Bobby, you know what the fuck's up here. Um, our number one consumer of water is Lake Las Vegas, actually. That's that's who's our, our number one user of water now. So, uh, it's still, still. It was last year. It uh, was the year before. Fucking blah, blah, blah. Um, what is Lake Las Vegas? <laughs> Lake Las Vegas is a completely artificial community that exists that has... <clears throat> lakes the the community itself is designed around this entire complex they use tens of millions of gallons to create this place Every year. Mo and most of it just evaporates. It doesn't actually get used. But it's designed to be this sort of like, you know, a European coastal town, Italian sort of situation. How fucking expensive is a house there? Probably very expensive. Um... Uh, we had two bodies, Peaky, so far. Yeah, two bodies. All right, here you go. Here's Lake Las Vegas. So. This is just a lot for $1.4 million. This house is 3.5, 3.6. But all of this is like Las Vegas. So there you go. That's the number one. Um, that's basically the number one uh, user of water in Las Vegas. No, Sonia, it's all it's all artificial. It's all piped in from like me. They take it directly. Yeah. <sighs> Oh, yeah. Dude, we've had rich Californians moving here for ages. Um, so, yeah, that's that's like Las Vegas. It's a completely artificial lake fucking environment on the sort of east side of town. And they pump in tens of millions of gallons every year. Um, so, yeah, that's where that's one of our largest users of water. Um, yeah. But, I mean, your real estate shoppers are a big California export. Yeah. Um, but, like like I said, um, we have a near 100% recapture rate um, for our water. If it's used internally, we have nearly 100% capture rate. Um, water doesn't go to waste in this valley. Um, the only water that goes to waste is if it gets external use. 
external uses, we lose so much water too. I'd happily take the, oh, I'd happily take that Jack. I'd happily take that. Especially if that's on property. Yeah. A boutique hotel or a few cabins or a one house and fuck off. <laughs> or one house and get the fuck off my property. Uh, no, we're talking about how uh, you guys are going to ruin the world. Um, or already are. Some places you get 250,000, 50 acres, depending on location. Sounds about right. Jack, are you in Costa Rica? Is this something I should have known already? Are you, are you a fucking Costa Rican? Um, rock on. Maybe I'll come down for a visit and then. <laughs> hmm. Born and raised. Interesting. Then I definitely might come down for a visit. <laughs> um... Rule the world, ruin the world. I'm not hearing a difference. Nice, thank you, Jack. That's what I always need. That's what I always want. Uh, cat already managed to piss off some people today. Fucking oh. Um. There we go. Uh. Yeah, definitely still not here. I fucking dude. I pissed off Ancom Psycon. And calm, psych, I'm not happy with me. I could tell he fucking left. They left. I don't fucking know. Either way, my my tirade about asexual sluts fucking pissed him off because I refused to come around. He was just like, nope. Uh. Also, um, cat. By the way, just an FYI, we learned via Twitter um, that Trumpism is Maoism, and you can be a Republican communist. So you know. Trumpism is Maoism, and you can be a Republican communist. Just, I, I, I need to keep you up to date, Cat. I feel that you slip behind sometimes, you know, in your old age. We need to keep you, uh, we need to keep you up to date. So, um, avocado toast is shit. Avocado toast is shit. Avocado is fine. Toast is fine, but just avocado toast is boring as fuck. Um, Trump the slumlord is such a Maoist. Jack, I had a stroke trying to uh, uh, fuck, a stroke trying to understand that. Don't, yeah, don't try and understand it. Don't try and understand it. Fucking, you'll only break your fucking brain. Hmm. More people are leaving New Zealand than entering. Apparently, young people are leaving New Zealand like rapidly. They have an annual net uh, uh, net negative as a result of migration. 7,300 more people left than entered the country. Young professionals and graduates headed overseas. High inflation, housing unaffordability, high, high living costs, petrol, rent, mortgage, uh, and groceries. <laughs> so you're telling me Trump will also die after trying to choke slam a sparrow? Uh, oh, and yeah, don't forget, uh, cat, cat, calling someone bald is sexual harassment, according to a British uh, employee tribunal, uh, employment tribunal. Calling someone bald is sexual harassment. Don't think about it too hard.
And before we find out that everyone has a rape kink. <laughs> I mean, isn't that who which which one of the fucking which one of the, the names said that uh, authoritarianism can be explained by humanity's innate need for masochist uh, or humanity's innate masochistic tendencies? Uh, they're, they're looking to fulfill their masochistic tendencies, and that's that explains authoritarianism. Just saying. Just saying. Oh. Didn't the QAnon say Trump was, a, was JFK at a rally or something? Um... Yeah, I forget who whose that is. Cat, it's like Hitchens or somebody. It's one of those guys. Uh, it's usually ranked to stop five kinks in women. I feel it's just someone trying to justify their kinks. <laughs> hey, what's up, Pharma Bro? What's up, Screlly? <laughs> Picked up this guy hitchhiking says he's famous. I don't see this is the thing. I don't have hard feelings. I I, I don't have hard feelings because he's he's the same as all of them. Right? I like he's a he's a horrible douchebag. Don't get me wrong. He fucking jacked the price of like an HIV met up like fucking like a three factor, like a factor of three or some shit like that. It's ridiculous. Either way. How is he different than any other pharmaceutical asshole? How is how is good old fucking pharma bro any different than the CEO of Gilead Pharmaceuticals? I don't fucking know. Most of the people only hate him for the Wu-Tang shit. They don't give a fuck about the pharma guys. I know, right? He fucked with Wu-Tang. Well, I mean, Wu-Tang ain't nothing to fuck with, so it is what it is. Uh, Mansion's daughter did do the same shit. Yeah, she did it with uh, EpiPens. She did it with the EpiPens. Um, 400%. Yeah. Like, dude. Fuck that guy. But no more or less than all the other ones. Right? Why is he doing time? Fucking Gilead and fucking AstraZeneca and fucking all these assholes need dealt with. Fuck these people. Mm. <laughs> Officer motorboated a subordinate at a promotion ceremony. He retired after guilty plea. Of course, they let him retire. Uh, for some reason, I just remember that I have a new political hypothesis. You can change people's minds by mocking them, but it works best if they have a humiliation fetish. I call it the glazy paradox. Fuck. Is that more of an axiom? I think it's more of an axiom. I think it's an axiom. So, uh, Rev, I'm going to have to fucking, I'm going to do some punch up. It's the glazy axiom. It's not a paradox. Oh, fuck the Sacklers, dude. I got, dude, just the mere mention of the Sacklers name. <clears throat> fucking Sacklers. Yeah, I think it's more, it's more axiomatic than it is a paradox. So I'm going to, I'm going to just punch that up to gla the, the glazy axiom. Um, and uh, it works. It works, Rev. Yeah. The glazy axiom states that you can change people's minds by mocking them, but it works best if they have a humiliation fetish. Kink. Kink. It'd be a humiliation kink. Fetish would be an object, I believe. Fetish requires objectification.
The Glazy Conundrum. Postulate. Postulate's a good one. Kind of sounds about, sounds like you're talking about a prostate too. The glazy, po the glazy postulate states that mockery works. Uh, uh, that uh, that mockery works for changing people's mind, but it works best if they have a humiliation kink. We'll work on it. Either way, it's a valid point, Rev. Either way, it's a valid point, Rev. Speaking of glazy theorem, I'm not sure if it qualifies as theorem. It's difficult to see what you're looking at in this picture. But what we're looking at is a dude on a bike, on a moped, who the popo rolled up to. Florida, Florida, Florida. And tased. And it set the gas vapors on fire and resulted in third degree burns on 75% of his body. Oh, and you can, I mean, you can see the drainage. Oh God, you can see the drainage. This poor dude. This poor dude. Holy shit. He's, that's a lot of pain. That's a lot of pain. Fucking Florida. Yeah. They, they literally, like, they, they, they said, like, he was cooked alive. Enjoying some snatch. Thanks for the follow, by the way. Um... 75%, third degrees over 35, uh, uh, 30, third degrees over 75% of his fucking body. Jesus. Cops are probably rewatching the footage and laughing about it. Yeah, probably, frankly. Fuck. Yeah. Jesus fucking Christ. Oh, what a fucking nightmare that would be. I am so clearly on Russian payroll. For sure. 100%. That's why I talk shit about Russia all the time. <clears throat> That's why I'm an anarchist. That's why I've been opposed to the USSR and the CCP and, and the U and USA. Yep. 100%. I'm on Russian payroll now too, boys. Um, add it to the list. CEO and president of, of Antifa, Illuminati member, um, fucking, what else do we have? We have Illuminati, we have CCP, uh, I'm sorry, we have uh, Illuminati, um, George Soros, uh, Antifa, CIA, uh, secret fascists, uh, Russian, uh, Russian asset, um, it, satanic Democrat cult member, um, what else? Oh yeah, Freemason, Freemason. We forgot the Freemason. Forgot the Freemason too. Thank you, Papa John. What would I do without you, man? Um, and so, yeah, it, I am. So it's why I'm so fucking tired. It's why I'm so fucking tired. I'm out there like doing shit. I'm trying to take over the world, establish a globalist empire. 
fucking it's you know it's difficult undermining all of your guys's like you know liberties freedoms rights um got to calm down on your extracurriculars there himself i know right um say something new man we're making fun of you and you're a joke say something new wait if i try and abort myself are you gonna try and sue me for 10k i'm canadian so that law doesn't work here yet uh cheshire um yes 100 percent. yes if you try and abort yourself i'm hey what's up redneck um how's it going you ever shit on your significant other's bed not intentionally man not intentionally anarcho big tentism um sonia i know right it's because it's because of those secret demonic uh, george soros cia illuminati powers give me the power to slow down time because i mean that's what fucking idiots like this probably think anyway um <laughs> red deck <laughs> of that apropos of nothing um a. No, <laughs> no, I've never tried to shit on my uh, significant other's bed. Jesus, that bitch is crazy, dude. She's not a likable witness. I saw some of her witness testimony yesterday. I saw some of her witness testimony. Finally, um, she's not a likable witness. She's not a likable witness. This is that's that's the number one thing in a in a case like this is being a likable witness. Depp was hugely likable on the witness stand. Fucking Heard is kind of a twat. She's not she's not likable on the stand. That's gonna go a long ways. Hey, thank you, Caleb. Thank you, Caleb. Hey, he says so clear again because he's ever so creative. Uh, it's called time dilation. You're probably an intergalactic space demon. Add it to the list. Intergalactic space demon. Add it to the fucking list. Uh, Kaiser, oh yeah, me and Putin hang out all the time. We drink vodka and swim in the uh, pool all day long. Redneck, worst evidence ever. Of course, he's boring. He's like a fucking, like... F tier fucking troll. He's not even good at it. Oh, dig. You're asking legitimate questions? Jesus Christ. Dig this. <laughs> You're adorable. Um, oh, Sonia, don't. Don't try and. Don't try and think about it. Good night, Weasel. Uh, I got to have my fifth dimensional consciousness transfer into a new clone body so I can be a slave to shape shifting reptilians. We'll drink adrenochrome and kill babies. Good night, y'all. Good night, Weasel. Enjoy your adrenochrome. Raul Castro chin to your troll. Uh, wait, what was that? Ah, okay. I see where that was referenced to. Beast might be a bot. You a bot? Are you, are you a bot, bro? Bro, you a bot? You sound like a bot, bro. You sound like a bot. For anybody who even gets that reference. Uh, oh, Kaiser. Don't try and... Dude, Kaiser, don't try and figure out idiots. You know better than that, man. Don't. You just break your brain. You're just like, holy shit, what are we trying to do here? Figure out how the, how the inner machinations of a fucking idiot work mm. it's not worth time so anyway you want to actually discuss something what's your fucking name tom posey which isn't suspicious at all um let's see when this account was created let's see let's let's fucking do some backstopping on this person's account let's see what they like to look at what they they have uh, have about them uh let's see Oh, can't stop the kittens raided me. I uh, not raided me. Uh, sent me a uh, sent me a whisper. Um, from the raid last night. Oh, thank you. Can't stop the kittens. Um. Okay, so 
I mean, I tend not to watch this stuff, Saber, but you gave me a really good, oh, this is 30 minutes. I'm not watching this. Then drop. <laughs> this is, this is 30 minutes. Um, thank you for the movie recommendation last night though, Saber. Saber coming in with a actually decent fucking pick for bad movie night for once. Um, thank you, cat. Day one. Security benefits saying that the pro I, yeah, okay. <clears throat> I mean, kid is. I know, right? Remember those early chatbots you could talk to online like I got? Dude, I love a good chatbot. Interesting. He just literally goes around. He he um he goes around just literally just saying random shit to to streamers about how they're financed by Russia. Interesting. It's fascinating to see his uh, his chat logs. It is. Yeah, the bot's pretty boring. It can't even make complete English sentences. Like it literally is just a shit bot. Anyway. Um, redneck. I don't believe I have. Um, I watched two hours of Tim Pool talking to Matt Binder, if I recall correctly, and then convinced that Tim is functionally brain dead. And after uh, after all that, I think I'm at least a quarter of the way where there, Kaiser. I think it's kind of I, it's kind of funny. Depends on how long until complete demographical collapse. They can't replace any of their gear. They're facing a shortage of men. That's why they're conscripting fucking 18 and 17 year olds from the far reaches of their country. Also to distance themselves from the actual activity. But they've lost their flagship, which they can't build a new one. See, um, fucking, oh, who is that guy? I've got that guy's name. If you ever want, like, really good military analysis, like, from somebody who is in the military and not the U.S. military, um... What is that guy's name? Um, Anders Puck Nielsen. Anders Puck Nielsen. Um, oh, Barbette. Um, fucking uh, Twitch is being investigated by the New York State Attorney General because of their uh, the fact that they were streaming um, the uh, the Buffalo shooter shit. And also it's a hub for jackasses. Um, so like, you know, it's a hub for white nationalist assholes uh, to a certain degree. And, you know, Lauren Southern types. So Twitch is part of an investigation into the radicalization of that, uh, of the Buffalo shooter. And so what you can expect is very shortly Twitch will take a performative, um, uh, they will they will engage in performative TOS changes. They might add another deer girl as a fucking diversity team member or something. Mike from fucking milk from PA is still claiming Ukraine is in the wrong. Um, fucking brilliant. Kaiser, my favorite line right now is how long can Russia be fucked in Ukraine? Um, but he can't, except he, he's too much of a pussy to spell out fucked Kaiser. You're the only one with the nutsack on him to, uh, actually say the word fucked. Uh, our, our favorite little like fake disruptive bot here. He doesn't have the nutsack to actually say it. So I don't like fucking child versions of it. Um, <clears throat> Yes, 
uh, boom. Yes, we we in fact do have his um, his Discord transcripts. The high level of discourse brought this high level di uh, discourse brought to you by the user Tom uh, Tompacy or Tom Posey or whatever. Because <laughs> this monkey box shit. I mean, you don't even have to fucking use proper English. Just use you know English or Russian, whatever your native language is. Tom, I presume it's Russian. So if you would prefer to speak in Russian, that'd be fine. Um, we have some people here who can understand it. Yeah, it totally makes sense. Uh, oh, good. Another one for Popo's Bizarre Adventures. See, this is the hilarity of it. Wait, uh, are you still alone in disguise? Um, yes, Russia's fucked. <laughs> is the bottom having a stroke? Yeah, I mean, kind of is. Um, yes, Russia's fucked. Yes, Putin's an oligarchical, authoritarian, right-wing dict uh, dictator who deserves the worst. Yes, Russia is a back ass backwards con social conservative society. Yes, they've overextended themselves. Yes, they're facing a demographical collapse. Yes, they're facing an economic collapse. Yes. They can't replace the military gear that they're expending. Yes, this is a poorly designed end, uh, end st like end dictator stage play by Putin. Yes, he's fucking surrounded by yes men, and he may have shot himself in the foot multiple times by surrounding himself with yes men. But you see, understand how like I'm not like there's no but. Russia's fucked, dude. I witnessed the collapse of the USSR in my lifetime. Now I'm going to witness the collapse of the Russian Federation, and it's hilarious. And what else you got to say, man? Do you have any other opinion? Do you have any other position? Do you have anything? Do you have any philosophy, any ideology, any ideas beyond Russia bad, Ukraine flag? Cool. We agree. Anyway, next. So, like, why don't you pull your fucking head out of your ass, stop being a fucking douchebag, and actually participate in the conversation like a functional human being, you moron? Jesus Christ, get with the program. You're so fucking dense that you can't even tell. Oh, okay, there we go. Bad faith detected. There we go. There's the bad faith. There we go. See? There it is. See? You have literally nothing. So what's your ideology? What's your philosophy? What underpins this? Why do you uh, why do you support Ukraine over Russia? You didn't learn your own language at uh, at Skook, let alone Russian or Ukrainian. Homie, what are you about? People have been speaking Russian to you. Just Caleb's doing it now too. People have been speaking Russian to you fucking for ages in chat and you haven't been fucking saying anything about it. He is weak. He is weak sauce, Crix. He is weak sauce. Anyway. All right. Ignoring the fucking moron. Anyway. Oh. <sighs> Interesting. Madison Cawthorn foes who targeted him with the damaging nude video say Lauren Boebert is next on their hit list. American Muckrakers PAC pack um, political action committee 
Their co-founder says they have interesting information about Bobert now. I think we quote, I think we're going to go after Lauren Bobert in Colorado in a similar way. Interesting, Saber. No, but I'll give that a look one of these moments. I'll give, a, I'll give that a look one of these moments. I mean, the fact that it's called the fucking Nashi. Jesus Christ. Oh, yeah. Nothing creepy. Nothing creepy at all. Interesting. I wonder what they got on Bobert. The found uh, the founder of the 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 pack says um, it's of uh, it's of financial uh, of uh, it's related to her financials, not her showing her ass or molesting her cousin. <laughs> God, that was the best video. God, that was the best video. Yeah, Bobert's the one with the sexual, uh, sexual fucking rapey husband, right? The, the, the fucking whipped it out in front of a bunch of teenage girls, right? Which makes it okay because they were teenage girls and not boys. Ah, Graham, duly noted. I wish they'd go after MTBG instead, then Ben, then Bobert. Dude, fucking either... Either way, she did want to do some modeling in the past, though. Want to see? You know what, Level? I do. I do. Send it to me, D Level. I want to see. Please, I'll say this for U.S. politics. It ain't boring. Uh, be warned. You know what? Oh, shit. Wait, is that top photo her or not? Because the top photo is not terrible. Like, the top photo is fucking solid. Now, this, on the other hand, is not great fucking. Okay, so, I mean, they're all her? Okay, well, uh, well okay, cat. Hang on, cat. All right, look, cat. This photo is not good. Admittedly, this photo is not good. All right, I get it. This photo is not the greatest photo in the world. This is some fucking glamour shot mall shit, right? Like, I get that. But, how about this photo? Okay, yeah, I mean, yes, cat. But how about this photo? Strikes me as doable. She's a white girl, Crix. What do you want? Fucking, she got that white girl ass. Jesus Christ, the fucking. All right.
that one's rough. That one's rough. I feel like the I feel like the 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 outdoor candids are her best photos. Yeah, the outdoor candids are they're do they're workable. But like the the model photos oof, they're rough. They're rough. Yeah. Mm. I okay. I saw this and I had mixed feelings. She's uh, an American congressperson, Starla. She's crazy as fuck. I, 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 you know. Here's my issue. Here's my issue. Yeah, I know, Cat. They get it. Fucking lefties, I swear to God. Uh, <laughs> that, Rev. That. Thank you. Rev gets it. So training for a civil war is illegal? Like, if I plan on these crazy fuckers doing something in my lifetime and I want to be prepared for it, is that illegal? Like, that thats that was my issue. That was my issue the whole time was, wait a second, what about this exactly is illegal? Like what, what exactly did they do is my question. Cause it's a plea deal. It's a plea deal. Larceny in a building, gang membership, Felony possession of a fire a firearm and conspiracy to train with firearms for a civil war. These are the charges. Did y'all know conspiracy to train with firearms for a civil war was a tr was a was a crime? Did you did you know that was like there was a charge for that even? Like, if I plan on these crazy fuckers doing something in my lifetime and I want to protect myself against it, is training against, tr pl is training to plan to deal with fucking neo-Nazis who try and overthrow a fucking our society, is that a crime? Because I think it's a crime. Magic Sky Wizard. Let me just tell you, I love your username. It's a great username. I love that you have it. Magic Sky Wizard. How long have you had that name? Since 2016. I respect it, man. It's a good, solid name. And yeah, a trees in charge does, isn't fucking ever going to stick. Um... Defense offense situation? I don't know. Securing these convictions on the conspiracy to train for civil disorder.
Webb pleaded no guilt, a no contest Monday to gang membership and conspiracy to train, uh, to train with firearms for a civil disorder. That's it. Conspiracy to train with firearms for a civil disorder is the charge. Did he really say it? Did he really say it? In contrast. Oh, for fuck's sake. In contrast, Russian elections are rigged. Political opponents are imprisoned or otherwise eliminated from participating in the electoral process. The result is an absence of checks and balances in Russia and the decision of one man to launch a wholly unjustified and brutal invasion of Iraq. I mean, of Ukraine. This timeline is a joke. <laughs> I missed Bushisms. I missed Bushisms. He is, it is, you're right, AJ. It's right on brand. It's right on brand. Oh, yeah. The, yeah. It's right on brand for him. And to launch a wholly unjustified and brutal invasion of Iraq. I mean, of Ukraine. <laughs> <laughs> Correct. Anyway, I miss him. He's fucking dude. He Bushisms were great. Bushisms were great. Let's see. Let's throw a shoe and see how those reflexes are. Fucking. I'll, though. Oh. Um. The link was in chat. Uh, that's where I got it from. Um. Fucking. Here you go. Uh, there you go. There you go, facts. Language is incredibly important, and I wish I could impress that upon leftists more. <laughs> and not in the way that they think it is. Yeah, he chuckled. Of course he chuckled. It's Bush. It's good old Junior. Dude, Junior is... Um... <coughs> He's a special one. I paid money to throw shoe at Bush. He's, he, you know, never know. Uh, it reminds me of kind of, he just realized he kind of reminds me of Beavis. I know, right? Oh, fucking old. Oh, Bush Jr. Jesus fucking Christ. It's been a minute. A little, a little old W. Dude, the shoe fucking. So one thing we can say about Bush Jr. He could throw, he could throw up an opening pitch. And he fucking had decent reflexes with that shoe. <sighs> I know, right? Nonsense. Um, he got a good dodging motion. He does. Yeah. No. He 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 is he is an athlete. To like, he's got natural athletic skill to a certain extent or another. Credit where credits due. Remember when, oh yeah, uh, that's, dude, that's, that's how, how you know how bad Trump is. Trump, um, Trump redeemed Bush's legacy. Bush was the worst president in American history, in modern American history at least. Um, Trump made Bush look, we have, like, we have nostalgia for Bush now. Uh, yeah, anti flag had some good stuff about him too. Bush had some great fucking albums. Yeah, yeah, the the, the anti Bush Jr. stuff like for anti flag was solid work. Better painter than Hitler to be fed to be fair. I dude I don't Hold on. I think it's Alright.
luck. Here is a bush. This is a bush painting. Here's a Hitler painting. It's subjective, but I got to give it to fucking like, I mean, right? It is Papa John at the end of the day. I suppose kind of right. There's Barney, which is a halfway decent one. The Saddam Hussein one's so pretty solid. Uh, the veterans one is cringe. He's got a style though. He does have a style unto his own. Okay, the Dalai Lama looks kind of terrifying. Oh, fuck you, Jay. He does have a style. I will give him that. Like he's he's definitely got a way of painting as himself. These should be NFTs. Um, where did Bush study painting? Austria. Uh, fucking Trump, W. Bush, Hoover, Jackson, Reagan. Top five worst. Oh, um, no, 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 no. Um. What was what's his name? Oh. It's what's his name? There we go. Um, Franklin Pierce. Franklin fucking Pierce needs a mention in that list. Um, fact. If you're going back, if you're doing like... Okay, Reagan, Reagan is worse than W. Yeah, Reagan is worse than W. Um, Jackson definitely needs mentioned. I, I'm you got to include Franklin Pierce. Franklin Pierce did more to get us into the Civil War than any other single president, probably. Um, yeah, Pierce Pierce needs mentioning. Pierce needs mentioning. Um, he he's super problematic for our country. Um, God, such a, there's so many bad ones to choose from. This is, this is, this is like, you know, this is, this is a straight, my cup runneth over moment. When you start talking shit, American presidents, it's like, oh man, there's so many to choose from. I, I agree. Public. I agree. Reagan is, you know. Jesus Christ. Um, no, um, push. this is, um, <clears throat> here you go. I like. I like the um, the Bush bathtub series and shower series, like the, the the like the feet in the bathtub and stuff. Yeah, that's what got me. Yeah, the, the feet in the bathtub in the shower series. It was like, okay. All right. Um.
dude's weird. <laughs> Quick painted <a> toaster. <laughs> um is no pee pee. Um There's a there's a billion things, Saber. That's please let's not. The factors that got us into our civil war is not any one thing, but Pierce contributed a great part as far as presidents go. Later, Cheshire. Ah, uh, they do dig. They do. I don't, but they do. Um, Bush. Portrait of Jeb. Hmm. Doesn't look like there. Doesn't look like there is one. It doesn't look like. Well, if there is one, we don't have a photo of it. But it looks like Junior didn't do a um a painting of his brother. Dude, I think feet in tub is good. I I get it. I I'm I'm here for the the feet in tub painting. I really am. Like it's weird and shit, but like I think it's hilarious. Like that's the dude that launched the Iraq War and shit, right? Like this is nine Mr. Nine Eleven himself, and it's fucking it's weird as shit, man. I bet he would have if Jeb became president. <laughs> Please clap. Uh Mr. Mission accomplished. Yep. Here's the uh the Osama one. Yeah, oh yeah, these are all these are all bush paintings. Fact. Yeah, he also did uh, he also did this one. Hey Viva. Yeah, Bush has a whole series of paintings. Like he's got like a, an entire like portfolio of paintings at this point. He paints. He paints. Bush, Bush Jr. paints. I, okay, look. Everything else aside. Everything else aside. Just everything. Set it, set it all aside. I have always thought Bush Jr. was a victim of his father. I don't think he ever wanted to be in that office. I don't think he ever like had as true aspirations. I think he was a victim of his father's success. I think he was a victim of his father. I think he was a product of his father. Um, I've never thought for a second that left to his own devices, Bush Jr. would have ended up in that position. I, I think he was largely put there. And I think that, like, most of us can feel that. That, like, that dude wanted to party. He wanted to drink. He wanted to own a fucking baseball team. He wanted to, like, yeah. Like, he that dude was not about that life. He was about that life. Right? Like, I get that. Oh, yeah, no. Fucking oh, fighter pilot. Yeah, the, the fighter pilot thing is always astounding about Senior. Yeah, he's CIA. He's fucking fighter pilot. Like, Bush Senior was a fucking, like, certified badass, by the way. Like, yeah. Like, I don't think... I've never thought that, like, Bush Junior left to his own devices would have done anything that he, he did. I think that that is a, I think he's a victim of circumstance. I think victim, I, I think, I think Bush Jr. is a victim of circumstance. He could have been a Ron Jr., uh, a Ron, a Ron Reagan Jr., Jr., but he doesn't give a shit. Ronald Reagan Jr. cares. Bush Jr. just wanted to party. He just wanted to party. 
Like, that's that's all he wanted to do. Like, you could see almost on his face, like, daddy drug him in and was like, you need to do this sort of shit. Like, dude, that Harold and Kumar thing was brilliant. Night, Puka. That, that Harold and Kumar thing was brilliant. Their version of Bush hiding from Cheney and like, man, I just wanted to smoke weed and daddy wouldn't let me and shit like that. I'm like, that is probably the most spot on depiction of Bush Jr. we've ever seen. <laughs> yeah, right? Fucking, but dad, I don't want to be president. I want to do blow off blondes. The pain is hidden in the heh. Which one is this? I, I can't, I really can't take listening to fucking this Trump's is a voice. Business oh, to run for oh president. I know you're a tough guy, Jeb. And, it's, and we need to have a leader that is prepared. Oh, I can't take fucking Trump. I can't do it. I can't do it. Cheney is the cabal. I know, right? It's all about Cheney. Yeah, I, I it. Don't get me wrong. Bush made his bed. Beta. Um. He wasn't squinting. He was constantly wincing. I, I, I don't get me wrong. In no way, shape or form is this an excuse of Bush's behavior, no way, shape, or form is this like attempting to whitewash his legacy. He's a war criminal. He's a horrible, horrible person. But I never, I yeah, I never for once was like, oh yeah, this is his machinations. This is him doing this. It's it's always been like, yeah, it's about daddy and the people around him and shit like that. In a very real way, I. I have sympathy for the guy, which feels weird. Oh yeah, that's, that's, yeah, facts, that's standard policy. <laughs> you can't listen to the greatest president we've had since Reagan? That's an American brother. We're going deep into shit. Makes sense, though. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah, I'd, exactly nonsense. I'd lock him up in a heartbeat, but I feel for him, right? I'd, I'd make sure he had paints and shit. I'd be like, you know what, homie? You gotta go, but, like, I'll make sure you have canvases and brushes and paints and stuff. Don't worry. We, You know, we're, we'll take care of you. We'll make sure it's humane, but, homie, you gotta go, man. You're a fucking war criminal. <laughs> You're a fucking war criminal, man. Um, he'd probably, you're right, Zippy, he'd like that. Like, just to be fucking left the fuck alone and just paint for the rest of his life in some sort of a solitary, like, but, yeah, he seems like he'd probably enjoy it, actually. It's the forced into the family business story. It is. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Sky Wizard. Sorry, man, that sucks. You can't hurt people in here, and I can't let you run around out there because it looks really fucking bad. <laughs> SNL did a great skit on Reagan by... Uh, uh, okay, facts. We, we're, we're very salty about the Phil Hartman thing and Andy Dick still to this day. Okay? Yes, I'm, I'm more than aware of Phil Hartman's work as Reagan, but, like, yeah. Yeah, I fucking any any mention of his name immediately just gets the ire going. Fuck Andy Dick. Um, yeah, oh yeah, red. The fucking the Dodge is an amazing thing. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah Peaky, hundred percent. The wound that never heals. Oh, when John Kerry ran against him, I thought the same thing as Bush. I had the feeling he tied to lose. He tried to lose. Yeah. Hmm, it would be an interesting niche, uh, fucking, like, slash fiction genre, uh, Rex. Those slippers got a statue, and the guy who threw them is apparently popular on Twitter in his country. Good. John Kerry is one of the boring, most boring people, period. Yeah, John Kerry is one of the most boring people, period. 100%. 
yeah, that's, he is notoriously boring. Nice AJ. Nice AJ. Um me just oh. There we go. John reporting for duty carry. Oh god, he's so boring. He's so boring. Remember when John Kerry started marching around the planet in a death bath of his own face during Obama? Shit freaked me out. Yeah, 100%. That's what's happening. Um, oh, yeah. I, yes, Saber. I've read about here on the country. I've lived the ramifications of the Iran Contra affair. Oh, Fanny Hall. Yeah. You met John Kerry when you worked at WBZ TV Boston. D was it so impressionless that you barely remember it? Like, how boring was he? I imagine just intensely boring. <laughs> Isn't that an argument for Saddam sucks? Oh, I guarantee John Kerry's a lame fuck. Yes, of course he is nonsense. Of course John Kerry's a lame fuck. Jesus Christ, the guy's boring as all hell. Uh, let's see if there's any. Oh, we see this really quickly. Good on him. <laughs> Where is this? Atlanta. Holy shit. Uh, in uh, Atlanta police would like everyone to know that the shooting at the McDonald's um, on Fulton Industrial Boulevard is not related to the shooting at Taco Bell on Camp Fulton Way 200 yards away. That all happened today, by the way. A, a literally like simultaneous shootings basically happened at a, a Taco Bell and a McDonald's 200 yards away from each other in Atlanta. And the police were like, we just want the public to know that the two shootings are not related to one another. America. How about we get spicy tonight? Maybe drink some hot cocoa in bed. John Kerry. What about the shootings at Wendy's and Burger King? Those are 100% related. And that's uh, the, that's related to the Wendy's and Burger King uh, gang beef. That's that's neither here nor there. Those those continue to be related, uh, Wilhelm. Yes. <laughs> Beast, that kind of makes it worse, right? Yes. Yes, it does. Amazing. <laughs> ah, the patty beef. 
1776 will commence again if I don't get my Szechuan sauce. Sounds like a Rick and Morty fan. How do we know these aren't just the fast food turf wars? This is 100% the, the fast food wars that uh, the the um, documentary um, uh, Demolition Man spoke of. This is 100% the, fa- the beginning of the fast food wars. And if the documentary Demolition Man is accurate in their telling of the future, then um, Taco Bell will reign supreme. So, yeah. Did you do that for the nine-year-old kid who got ran over by his mom today in a skate yard incident with another kid down the uh, street from it or something here in Vegas? Jesus Christ. Montreal has like one Taco Bell, and you guys will be the wasteland. State mandated Taco Bell. Yes. Fucking your daily allotment of Chalupa. So, we're going to do this. I know vegan Taco Bell sounds too intimidating. Oh, Jesus, God, help us all. I zippy, right? Wendy's doesn't give a fuck. She'd pull out nukes one day. You can drink at a Taco Bell here and get married. It's supreme. Boo. Wait till the Redcoats again uh, from Wimpy Hit America in 1812 will commence again. Dude, fucking British, British fast food doesn't have shit on us. British fast food doesn't have shit on us. Either way, we're going to um, we're gonna raid over to Squiddy. Uh, I don't know what Squiddy's up to, but, you know, I trust him. So we'll raid into him. Uh, my point is the slipper guy had the freedom to throw the slippers at a president after Saddam had been removed. In fact, that a few months earlier, he did not. Ah, oh, okay. That's what that was all about. Sky Wizard, thank you for the follow. Still love your name, my man. Uh fucking sorry for the low energy stream, y'all. I just was not like between the the allergies and shit when I woke up and fucking put my contacts in. Um fucking yeah, it's just I'm tired today. I'm fucking tired. My back is in pain. I have fucking allergies going on. You can see I'm fucking unshaven. Yeah, so sorry for the low energy stream, but it is what it is. 